The objective of this job practice is to make a sound multi-pass fillet weld in the vertical position using a box weaving and Z weaving technique. This is a faster and cleaner method of adding filler metal to make a larger fillet on a heavier workpiece. It is used in place of multi-pass stringer beads where heat and distortion are not critical problems. Follow the general procedure steps. Use the proper protective clothing and tools. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. Position the plates to form a T-joint and make strong tack welds on each end. Clamp the workpiece for vertical position welding at about chest height. Position the electrode 45 degrees from the vertical plate and 5 to 10 degrees downward. Deposit the first or root bead with an inverted T motion. Thoroughly clean off the slag and cool the workpiece in water. The first pass should be flat to slightly convex, evenly rippled with 3 16 inch leg dimensions. Weld the opposite side in the same manner. Position the electrode for the first weave bead using the same angles as for the root pass. Start the box weaving motion by aligning the center of the electrode over the right hand toe of the root bead. Strike the arc and move the electrode across the face of the root bead to the opposite edge. Move up along the edge one diameter and then back down one half diameter. And back across the face to the opposite edge of the root bead. Pause slightly at each edge to fill the crater and eliminate undercut. This will help control the weave bead width. Travel speed should be just fast enough to deposit a bead width of three diameters. The travel speed should also be controlled to provide a ripple 1 16th to 3 32nd inch wide. Move the wrist rather than the whole arm for better control. When the first weave bead is complete, clean off all the slag, and then weld the opposite side in the same manner. Now, deposit the second weave bead over the first, this time using a Z weaving motion. Pause with the electrode centered over the toes of the first weave bead. When the second weave bead is complete, remove the slag and cool the workpiece in water. Then weld the other side of the joint in the same manner. For additional practice, tack weld the five plate assembly as described in topic eight and weld the remaining joints. Inspect the welds, then check with your instructor.